Hey guys, this is Um, I have played this game through before and I can tell you what ending I got, but I am gonna be doing things a little different than what I did last time. I'm starting over from the very beginning and I will keep you guys updated every step of the way. So remember to like and subscribe to Whispering Dragons Gaming, our new YouTube channel. You'll find all of these videos up there. Also Follow me on Twitch. So I'm just gonna go to this start the game here. Start from the very, very beginning. I particularly like this game, not because it's just somewhat feminine, but because it makes you think, and it's a nice game. They also have like a Batman version of this that's coming out. I forgot what it is what the name of it is at the moment. Right here. Let's go. I will be giving occasional commentary on the situation. But I'll also be allowing you guys to watch somewhat peacefully. Where am I? What's happening? Storm. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Oh. Please let me make it there. I like this game mostly because it's not a phrase prison. But it really has the aspects of a phrase prison game. Right there you see the twister. It's the lighthouse. Heading over to this bench over here. So, yes. Holy shit. <laughs> I will say this when I played this game through the first time, I was not expecting a certain set of events. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color. Also, the graphics on this game are pretty decent, but I still feel like. Example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in life. I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. Victorious? Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I personally think it's a nice. Because of the images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. My little camera bag is battered but still kicking. Seriously though. I could frame any one of you in a dark. If opens. anybody else looked at this, what would they think? This is just basically her thoughts and things like that. If you want to pause the video here and read this, you can. But I'm just going to scroll through. Um, this, as you can see, she got accepted to Blackwell Academy. It's <laughs> a really crazy place. Get it, babe. This is just basically her journal. I'm just gonna give you guys a few seconds to choose whether or not you want to pause the video and read. It's, I'm pretty sure this has clues to the story that I probably need to do some few 
achievements I haven't done the first time around, but it's always the third time, right? You in a moment of and defense gates is just defense gates. So this is how you do that story. Me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture that has always a been joke. a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm going to go with a snobby route. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter a who douche. created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. <laughs> now you're the totally the Close up is when you notice the flaws in animation. Very good, Victoria. Like the Daguerrean process pictures. brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art I don't world. understand why the contest is called the Everyday Hero contest. Contest. So contest. Probably a real contest that I have to look up to really Taylor, understand. don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hey, I'm just gonna walk. Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. So, I have to talk to him to get out anyway, and I love looking at pointless things. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That's basically all the other things you said. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Every time you look at something, she gives her like two cents in the pain about it. Even in it's pictures, good to listen to. the forest around here always looks mysterious. Just little um clues. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries this on this bad boy. Here's to. the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you always Welcome to the real world. You're a lot of... Then I might ...upscale high school talking back. But is it right to eat in body type? I need a serious time out in the bathroom. That's great. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. I'm gonna head down 
she's so fucking shy. The bathroom. You can also tell they're not going to school because they can have their phones and listen out in class, listen to music and calls. That when I was in high school, that wasn't the case. Evan. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. And I actually never noticed this was her locker. As girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the sea. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. It looks like she's been gone for months. To all of you, a man. Tell where your heart is American girls like Dolly And do the broadcast in Nobody chapter can see instruments Therefore, Except for me chapter per <sighs> Now who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I actually like the fact that this game really changes when. Whoa, where did that butterfly come based from? Based on the choices you it select. It doesn't look like any kind I've ever so seen before. So I could play this game a few times. The blue wings are practically not glowing. The same as I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Coming in the bathroom. Coming in the girl's bathroom. It's cool, <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! This is the point. The power's kicking. She panicked. It's very... Whoa. Interesting. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. And now he shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. He likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. Yes, yes we have. And I'm gonna answer this question right this time. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Shit! 
Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? First of all, no one actually jumps to that conclusion that fast. Like, it's more like I'm psychic, not I can reverse time. I did it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. This is it. Anybody? How she got to this conclusion? Bueller? Max, really don't freak again. out. Not yet. I'm not gonna look at this stuff again because we already looked at it the first time. I'm just because gonna skip it. Keep it together, Max. You feel like tempted by the eyes of When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max, gift. I know I'm. It's real. I can. Eighteen hundred. Your gen. Go back and. Selfie express. Is that girl really? isn't dead yet. The point. There has always Big been a lot of and photography bathroom quickly and check it out now max since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits i'm sorry but i really have to use the bathroom nice try max but you're not going to get away that easy we can talk more after class is there anybody oh, here who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, Very good, that's Victoria. Victoria. What if I rewind again the and process. give him the right answer? It's clear the little dot in the swirl. All right. Max, since you've captured, you're just gonna skip that. Maybe go. A French painter named Louise Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture you did hugely well. popular, you did well. mainly because it gave the subjects <laughs> clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish There's reading the assigned chapters. The Max this is case. so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's to be an everyday hero. Ask mad. But again, I can't get out to talk to him, so I'm gonna interrupt this conversation. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me... Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Skip again, of course. Photography's future star. Yep. There we go. Say we. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Sad, but I need to hurry up. 
I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. I'm gonna please, walk please. There. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I told you. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who I'm with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that ever thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening. To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. I need a hammer to break it open. Ever even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? <laughs> No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day! That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the... Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank I'll you, Mr. Madsen. Face. Back up. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Call field alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Goodbye. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Get out my face, Or have man. you done something wrong? Is that it? I you... Well, Max. This game skips to, to conclusions way too quickly. Report the truth. Hmm. Report him. I the truth. None of your business. I got this. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing, nothing to hide. Oh. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your How? parents will approve when they find out. Class, please. Straight bullshit. No. So not not by that at all. I may have my scholarship down the toilet. Oh well. Yes, I could rewind an action. Oh. No, 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 Tom. He's a douche and whatever. Beautiful campus. Perfect fall weather. Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Um, uh, sure. Why not? That's sure. Nice. I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. 
Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. It could have helped Rachel. I didn't actually talk to Rachel, so I can't really say that. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. <laughs> sure. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think cameras in the dorm rooms would help anything. It's going to really evade your privacy, so by personal standard, I'm going to sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I Thank knew you. you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Action will have consequences. I don't know the consequences because I've never done it, so that's great. This game's already different. I have a text warning. I better okay. read Warren's text before. the conversation. I hope you guys are ready. Flash drive. And okay, flash I better drive. get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. This is all the people I know. David. So, so far we've seen Nathan pull a gun on the chick in the bathroom. We've on, lied to the principal. We have also signed a petition to keep yeah. surveillance to a limit in our school. Those are the main things that seem to have I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? And Nathan seems to be rich and owns the dorms. Speak. Oh. Hi, Max. Just... How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better <laughs> off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Um, it's something cool that kind of happens here. I guess it doesn't yeah. happen now, but it's supposed to. Look all the birds in the sky look like bees. That looks dangerous up there. That's the first sign of something crazy going on. Alright, let me in. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Just call me what a home. lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> this isn't even clever. This is just real. Since you know Asshole. all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. 
I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. Mm -hmm. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. What she said. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. No. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. He do you understand lost. English? Get lost. Bitch. Awesome. Hmm. Show me a bucket. Let's see what we can do here. Keep going. I'm gonna rewind completely because I need to get to that bucket, but I can't get to it if he's in it. See, bucket. Oh, tamper. Sounds like fun. Alright. Okay, let's see if this works. Alright, now I'm just gonna stand back from a distance. Watch what happens. Tamper with the bucket. He needs to be at TCH as well. Get to look upstairs. Something more I can do while I wait. I would think most of the painting would have been done before we move nice, in for the year. Like during the summer. But. Waiting till late fall is always an acceptable option, I suppose. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? All right, I know what to do. Let's see if this works. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. You look bad for him. You say on, you're sorry. On. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't she mess with the ass. I don't know. Inside? Sweet. I'm just sitting with paint on you, dumbass. Go inside. Dude. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Let's take the high road. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always I mean, had to use to my goddamn right dorm room, room, but I mean, I gotta be rude I do about have it. some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Yep, let me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourself. 
That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Yeah, you just a bitch. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Thank you. Get out my way so I can go in time. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. No need to take the low road. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. What's wrong with 217? Ah. That's interesting. Bathrooms. At least that's an alarm from this century. Missing person poster. We looked at that already. Bang for G what? Okay, this is just mean and stupid. That's rude. There we go. Consequences will become worse. Oh Victoria, give me a fucking break. Great that they seem to have. Well, she has a room to herself. I don't think they home sweet have. home, my favorite cocoon. Alright, I'm here to get a flash drive. Hmm, they go for that one, don't they? I'm gonna try to take every photo I can. The Max text. Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Another text, so press wrong button. So I'm gonna It says your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior, that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home even if you are all grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat. We miss you, X X O O, mommy. Alright, so this was a douche. Maybe it's in here. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's the tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. <laughs> that was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. See. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these Camera vintage pen. beauties. <laughs> Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. 
drink up. Recipe be found. Ordering a plant has consequences. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Where is this um Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. Oh, yeah. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not This is flash. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. What? Who we'll takes something from someone else's room? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. For real? It's rude. These doors don't lock. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julia. This is so stupid. Answer you, what? Ah. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana really in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. Exactly. That's my last name. Uh, uh Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Oops. Hey. Hey. hey, Juliet. Is yep. Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dick. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Ah, <sighs> here we go. One more time. Drama. God, high school is awful. Invading people's space. Why of them look better than mine? Not proof. Let's see. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> Will you sell your soul? Money speaks a lot. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Mm. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay. How do I print? Is a printer? Oh, no, it's a printer. 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 Oh, here you go. Okay. 
do we have to do from the computer? Is a button or something? Oh, right now. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. For real. I'm trying to get my flash drive back. Juliet, read this. Of course. That was a childish way to address the situation. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You mm. are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. You knew it was his and you still took it? Kill a rude. And you could have brought it out to me. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. For real. I'm leaving. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Which is. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Whatever. Over this flash drive. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Mm. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Thanks, but we're not friends. That was rude. But, you know, to each his own. We're gonna head to the parking lot. If we want this flash drive that we So should. don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're True. part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Go ahead. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Huh? I felt okay. like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, I think the choice you made is a very decent one. Taking a photo. I guess the photo would be physical evidence, but at the same time. She wouldn't have known you stepped in. It's probably would have hurt you if you can't my flash anyway. That 
She walks to the parking lot. I don't think God knows what directions. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Juliet. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Eh, no, I won't okay. bother you then. I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zach and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the Max, get your oh, ass yeah. over here. Hey. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Damn, Damn girl, it was cold. Cool. Very old school. 1978, to be exact. Now we can Jesus. go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong 60. time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur that does sound better than thief ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust no i'm good no fucking way will i watch that mind is twisted enough i laughed my ass off so you're sensitive ouch that sounds awful the way you say it faster pussy cat kill kill no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Mm, no. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's yes. photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch. Get the fuck out my face. Get the fuck out my face. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not Damn. analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Pay people to analyze. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Leave in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Damn. Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. 
and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home max Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> this is Chloe's room. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's yeah, five years ago today. Chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble.
So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Not much. Not much. You know me. I like to observe the world more than participate. If I can't say I know you anymore, maybe you love to go clubbing every night. Can you see me at a rave? I dose those candy flipping morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Take a photo of that. That had to find nothing but junk in this suitcase. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely oh. recognized her. So can't find a CD. Let's see. Chloe was what always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna find this goddamn CD. No, I am. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. <laughs> Oh, my YouTube followers are gonna be like, what the hell? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really looking for the CD. Maybe if I check this picture box. Look at that. Oh, no. Just Chloe and her sure. dad were so close. Mm. No CD, though. How do you want to find? Hey, a that TV used to be in the living room. How do you find goddamn CDs in a room this messy? What the heck? Oh, this is a flashback to you. Our super secret closet lair. Sorry, guys. Just feel free to just hold on a second. We had such a blast drawing these together. What have an eject? Paper, box, TV, power strip, drawers, desk. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop, but I love how funky. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Yeah, maybe. Huh. My poster. It's another box? Or did I search this one? Nope, I found another box. Oh, finally! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. 
Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Chloe's is technically snooping. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. Huh? Right. Just start heading downstairs. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Well, it's okay. I'll be all right. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Oh, wonderful. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Feel Autumn pushing out the William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. What is this? We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. <laughs> that took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost Chloe invisible. Chloe surprisingly now. has a lot of stuff from five years ago. She didn't seem to move on at all. I didn't really get to do most of this stuff. Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. 
explore the world, go far from here. Sure far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. <laughs> I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. It's nice to remember. Alright, that shows me. Oh, that's a door. Okay, go this way. Nope. Back inside I go. This is this door. What if we're trying to get into the garage? Oh, here he is. Door is open. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Nothing. This is so lame. Let's see, where else? Oh, drawers. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? Just, You've got to be shitting me. We just, we just like that. Okay. What's this? Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Okay, I'm looking for tools. What is that? Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Huh. Yay. Oh, okay. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This uh -uh. guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe oh, yeah. and Joyce even know about this? Who just closed this damn cabinet? Laptop, cupboard, files. I wonder what's in those files up there. Oh, yes, so do I. Shit! Butterfingers! I mean, I know I played this before, but it was a while ago. I have to remember everything. And pull this out. Yes, you have Tools. mad skills, Max. Perfect. Anything else that we know about? I've got the tool. Unit? I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. like enough spam for a hundred years. <laughs> cool, so now it's open. And right back upstairs. I can't really remember where this chapter ends, but I know most of chapters usually have a dramatic ending. So I don't think we're close enough. Hey, hello. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. See, it takes... It 
it's one thing to know how to take photos, but to also know how to fix your camera. Even though she never actually fixes it. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. Oh, badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So yes. you must have overheard our conversation. Not really. I was freaking but... out. I could only hear Nathan ranting. So then you did hear us. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Someday. Bitch. We're this together now. You have to meet too. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. Five years, you still remember that? This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never so used sweet. it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This she camera is so like sweet. That now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. <laughs> Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> I'm gonna take the photo. I got Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie. Come on. Rock yes, break it down, man. <laughs> Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Assholes. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Jesus Chloe, Christ. I'm coming. You Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me yeah. in now. Please. One second. Give me him. Don't get smart. Just let me in now, please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe. Soldier, who you talk to? I'm your stepdaughter. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. 
I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stay hidden, step in. I'm um, step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially this dopers. Ain't your house. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. True. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Hmm, she got it bad enough. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while? What's the problem? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. <laughs> really? Well, I don't. Guns make me nervous. You should be playing guitar, not playing with a gun. When assholes stop threatening me with guns, then I'll stop playing with mine. Your gun can't stop a bullet in your back. Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody sure. in this country should have guns, it should be women. Alright. Leave Chloe's room. Sneaking out the window, eh? I'm sure this chapter's gonna come to a, a wrap up decently soon. Last time I rewinded awesome and sauce? thought about it totally reminds me of when we were kids. Way too much. This Come time on, I'm gonna try to folk. rewind a limited amount of time and just wanna see what happens. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just safer. here? Not every time, but just oh. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Nightmare, but Nightmares happen at night. When you sleep. We're in. Oh. You did that for a bit secret. Oh, you did protect. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Can you take a picture of this bird? I was hoping I was trying to get a photo shoot. 
sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? <laughs> you know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd Good like man. to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing he didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Now I'm bringing the Walter White down on him. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. <laughs> Just tat it to the max. She's one of those cliche troubled kids who grows up. To if this is destiny, drink. I hope we can find Rachel. Hmm. I miss her, Max. It's like you don't need a troubled past. I don't think she does. But they just make it seem like that. This shit pit shit. has taken away everyone I've ever loved. Like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh no! Not again! Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Talk to me. so. Visible the year, Chloe's been. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out.
still following the telegram. You're like... I've never seen a storm like this in Omer. That was scary. Did it die? Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Span for me. But all oh, shit that happens seems to be a lot longer. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. You're about to fall off oh, this. Lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zone. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. <laughs> There's Such something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those this powers, video game. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Get high? <laughs> She's saying crazy shit. She told some let's get high. Snowing. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Hey guys, this seems to have wrapped up the first chapter. Of Life is Strange. This is Phoebe. You can go on my YouTube page and see many other videos. The YouTube page is Whispering Dragons Gaming. It's a new page we just started. It has a lot of different videos from me and my co view and my co host. Hope you guys like it. Um, subscribe to my page and I'll keep you updated with more videos. to like and subscribe at Whispering Dragons Gaming.